comes down like that mm -hmm. from the Clytus cervicalis, which kind of goes like that, and I'm up under Clytus cervicalis now. Let's see if I can. Clytus cervicalis basically goes all the way up to temporalis, so it's a pretty big, pretty thin, big it's muscle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if we cut it and reflect it, there's two muscles underneath that you have to know. Um, the first one, omotransversarius, sticks out a little bit right there, and then it goes under this. So if I fold this back, I can follow omotransversarius over. That's the levator scapulae. That's the omotransversarius. Is that like flat? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if I get up under sure. it, it's kind of like a long skinny muscle. Okay. And that goes over to his shoulder. And then the other one that you have to know is levator scapulae. So yeah. in order to see levator scapulae, we have to go up under this muscle um, right here. So this is cervical trapezius, and it's almost right on top of his shoulder. So if I cut that one and fold it back, now I can see levator scapulae. So it looks very similar to omotransversarius, but if you look at where it goes, mm -hmm. it goes over to the supraspinatus of his shoulder, so that's above the spine of his scapula. And this big kind of meaty muscle is the supraspinatus and so the levator scapulae is going to run over to that supraspinatus. This is levator okay, scapulae. So they kind of connect at like a point? Right yeah. There. Over it you said was what muscle that went over the... This is levator scapulae. So if you... And then that's supraspinatus. Super okay. And then when you closed it, was that a muscle? Like what was muscle? Yeah, that was cervical trapezius, cervical trapezius. and then that was clitus cervicalis. The other one that we have to cut and reflect is this one that the crow's under, that's thoracic trapezius. So if we cut that, now we can fold this back. We get a better view of supraspinatus, but we can also go back here and see infraspinatus. Infraspinatus is going to sit under the spine of the scapula, and you can feel the spine of the scapula right about there. Um, so infraspinatus is relatively small but it's right it's right there it's under the spine so that we can see the spine of the crow so that's infraspinatus it's right at the top of dorsal epitropialis and then that's triceps brachii long head triceps brachii lateral head and then we have brachialis on the front there and then this is a chromio deltoid there. Yeah. Um, and then scapular deltoid is kind of a long skinny muscle. So you can see it right there. It's a little bit harder to separate from some of the others. But it's basically going to run from the top of the triceps brachii long head to your infraspinatus. It's that little long skinny muscle. And then between scapular deltoid and dorsoepitrochlearis and the infraspinatus, there's another muscle called teres major. And teres major is going to go under the arm. So a lot of times you can see it going down under the arm and it gets bigger as it goes down there. So that's teres major. there's any others. Did you do the triceps medial head already? No, triceps medial head is going to be between these two. Sometimes you get a better view of it from the other side, but let's see if we can get to stand out. superficialis here is kind of blocking our view. That triangle? Yeah. So 
if I cut pectoralis superficialis, I can see pectoralis profundus underneath. Look up under his arm and cut away some of those nerves. Usually I can find the medial head a little bit easier. So that's a long head. And then that smaller one is the medial head. right next to that big one. Yeah, so that's your long head there. Um, and then medial head is that smaller. It's kind of triangle shaped. And then this is biceps brachii here. Okay. And one more, the scapulo deltoid. Oh, that was the long skinny one. That was the long skinny right here. Okay, that was one of those. And sternomastoid. Sternomastoid is gonna run down kind of run down the front of his neck. So this hole that they put in there when they prepare him mm -hmm. goes right through the sternomastoid, but you can see is it more that muscle. Um, well, there's a piece on this side yeah, and a piece right. on this side. So they kind of cut through that one, but you can still see that one. 